onesies are in the laundry. <laughs> I'm sad. You got other PJs. But they're not onesies. I'm hooked on onesies now. I'm going to get you some with little booties. No, I have to have my feet out. I have to have my feetsies out. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. Brenda Craig, welcome to the neighborhood. Samantha Nuvet, welcome to the neighborhood. Tristan Gong, welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, we need some thoughts and prayers, guys. Hannah Hinkle broke her wrist. One surgery will fix her wrist and carpal tunnel. Thoughts and prayers go out to you, girl. Yeah. How'd Let's you break it, did she say? I don't know. How'd you break your wrist? Tripping. Are you tripping? Tripping over stuff? Kevin's got to know how everybody broke everything because I broke mine tripping over a box. Probably a funny story. Funny story. Okay, so we got to know how everybody broke something, okay? Like, um, the other day somebody broke their ankle. We want to know how you broke your ankle. Hannah, we need, we need to know how you broke your wrist, okay? Erica Templeton. She's been having some rough days lately, so glad we can make you smile. Keep on smiling, girl. Jessa J is having some procedures done on her throat. If everyone can please keep her in your thoughts and prayers and that the procedures turn out positive and that she no longer has these issues with her voice. We would all greatly appreciate that. Um, Greg Myers is having gallbladder surgery the first week of December. If we can all keep him in our thoughts and prayers as well. And don't overeat on Thanksgiving because you'll hurt yourself. So take it easy on Thanksgiving. And Tanya Longley says, no one can replace me. Not even Boomer. <laughs> I never said that Boomer was replacing you. So, the K and B... It just happened to be on there. And when I said, you there, gotta right? feed I the most important there. person, you still gotta feed the most important person, <laughs> and you said, Boomer's already been fed. Sorry, <laughs> Boomer cannot replace me. <laughs> I am the Sorry, most buddy. important person in your life. Yes, dear. Better answer that way. So, last week my question was, what is your holiday, your Thanksgiving plans, and what is your traditional plans? What is your traditional Thanksgiving? Taco, tur turkey tacos. <laughs> turkey tacos and... Didn't ask you yet. Angie says, spend Thanksgiving with my family and friends, and normal food is turkey, mashed potatoes, dressing, cranberries, and pumpkin pie. Last year, didn't they spend Thanksgiving with us? I think so. I think I need to come back and spend Thanksgiving with us again this year. 12-hour drive, that's all. Bonarchy 7, she's having dinner at their house, and they do all the cooking, and she does all the cooking. You got a big family. That's a lot of cooking. Put those kids to work, woman. Greg Myers, Thanksgiving feast, two turkeys and a ham. I spend the day at my house. That's a lot of food. Do you have a big family that comes over? Maria Cisnero Toth, she got a crack up out of uh, roast beast. My hubs and I usually spend Thanksgiving at my sister's house, though the last two years we spent Thanksgiving with our son and his family, which we loved. Our traditional meal is turkey with all the yummy trimmings. That's a new tradition, spending it with your fam with your son and his family. I love Thanksgiving traditions. That That's pretty awesome. Jess Lucero, we used to go to my grandparents every year for Thanksgiving, 
After they got over, Mom started cooking, and that's where we've had it for the past 15 years or so. We have just the standard stuff. I usually make a big hot turkey sandwich. Pretty awesome. 15 years Thanksgiving at the same place. Uh, Terry Johnson, we spend Thanksgiving at my dad and mom's house with my brother, sister-in-law, and three nephews. We have traditional meal of turkey, two kinds of dressing, dressing mashed potato, green bean casserole, corn, sweet potatoes, creamed peas, rolls, fruit salad, cherry, pumpkin, and coconut pies. Very yummy. Sounds very yummy. Crimson Fairy. This is a new tradition for her. She just started a couple of years ago. I go to my boyfriend's parents' house in El Dorado, Kansas. We have turkey with all the trimmings. Kim Wilson says, thank you for the shout out. It really made my day. I've been having some pretty bad days lately. You're welcome for the shout out, Kim, and uh, keep smiling. Now, Tanya Longley, I can relate to this Thanksgiving dinner because we grew up in the same area, so. Normally have Thanksgiving at Mom's and Dad, traditional meal, turkey, homemade dressing, corn, potatoes, yams with marshmallows. We didn't have the marshmallows, though. Turnips, pumpkin pie, apple pie, lemon meringue pie, sometimes pumpkin bread if I have the chance to make it. The Abyss, I like his answer. I go to my aunt's house in Anaheim, and we have the normal Thanksgiving and ham, and I remember how I used to pig out on Thanksgiving. He's lost a lot of weight, so he's backed off on pigging out, so I like the way you put that. You used to pig out. And Margatet Clevenger, we spend Thanksgiving at home. We have turkey stuffing, cranberry sauce, potato salad, deviled eggs green bean casserole, mashed potatoes, gravy, olives, pickles, so much food, desserts or pies, cheesecake, ice cream, and pumpkin rolls. Jeez. So that's our tradition. Very good tradition. Where do we, what, what do we usually do for Thanksgiving? We don't have any kind of tradition, really. I know, and I miss so. that. And uh, I know that when I was growing up, we would have the, the, the whole turkey shebang and when uh, it was just uh, my mother and my brother and I which we were still together for a while after college we stopped doing it because it was just too expensive and nobody was really that interested so but when I met you we started doing stuff again because Megan was still a kid so having the, the traditional stuff but it was usually us who put it together Right. And then the last couple of years... Megan started going to her dad's every year. She would go year. to her dad's, and we would go to... Claim Jumpers. The Claim Jumpers. And uh, have um, have it there, which I, I said I don't want to go to Claim Jumpers. So last year, I made Thanksgiving dinner at home, mm -hmm. and um, I really enjoyed that. I, I like tradition. I miss having Thanksgiving dinner with my big family. And this year, the whole family is getting together in North Carolina and having Thanksgiving dinner. And I do miss that we're not going to be able to go there for that. Um, which, you know, I've accepted. Um, but we are not going to claim jumpers. Nope. We are having Thanksgiving dinner here at home. My brother's going to be here from Paris. Yes. I'm not going to be able to cook as much as I would like to be involved in, but Kevin and his mom is going to, are going to be doing most of the cooking. So I am getting my traditional home-cooked Thanksgiving dinner, um, which will be very nice. And uh, I'm very excited about that. And we will not be going out for Thanksgiving dinner anymore. We will be having traditional home-cooked Thanksgiving dinners. Turkey tacos. No. No, we're having traditional Thanksgiving dinners. Okay. Ugh. Anyway, my question for today is, now that everybody has told us what their traditional Thanksgiving dinner is and who they normally spend it with, I'm going to throw a little monkey wrench in there. If you had the chance 
to spend Thanksgiving dinner with anybody famous, the President of the United States, anybody famous, just you and your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your, your significant, significant other. other, would you give up spending your traditional Thanksgiving dinner with your family to have that one th special Thanksgiving with somebody extra special, anybody in the world that you would get to choose? Does that make sense? Be careful. <laughs> so, there's your question for tonight. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. <laughs> That's about as much as I can roll that arm. <laughs> Good. Okay, so last week, the question was, when they got to the movie Halloween H2O, which was made 20 years after the original, um, why did they ignore movies four, five, and six? They don't have to worry about three because three had nothing to do with the uh, Mike Myers uh, mythology. John Carpenter had established in movie two that uh, Laurie Strode was the sister of Mike Myers and that their parents gave her up for adoption. No ex explanation why. They just gave her up for adoption. She was adopted by the uh, Strodes. Jamie Lee Curtis decided not to do any more of the movies, so they had to create a whole new um, character, character to, uh, to be chased by Mike Myers. So they came up with uh, a daughter of Laurie Strode, and they killed off uh, the Jamie Lee Curtis uh, character and uh, had him chasing the daughter around. Um, but the, that was working great through four, five, and six. However, when uh, they uh, Jamie Lee Curtis decided she was going to come back for a 20th anniversary movie. They had to try and figure out how to bring her back because they killed her off in an episode four. So they actually uh, filmed a scene that tied all the movies together, but it didn't really work because people were going to say, well, how come if she went into hiding and faked her own death, would she leave her daughter? and then let her die, and then let her granddaughter, uh, who's still out there, and that hasn't been resolved. So whatever they did did not make her character look uh, very good. So they decided to cut out four, five, and six just to simplify it, and um, so they brought in a, a son who would have been about the same age as the daughter at the time, and, um, and just pretend that it, it didn't happen. They still don't have a real explanation as to where he's been for 20 years because they, you know, they had nothing in between since they eliminated him. They were in hiding! So that is why they eliminated it. Not that they didn't like the characters, didn't like the stories, didn't like it. They just could not tie it together well enough to make um, a, a, the Laurie Strode character sympathetic enough to, uh, to follow in the two more movies. And those who got that correct was Terry Johnson, Tanya, um, The Abyss, 92882, and Tanya Longley. Tanya Longley is the only one that actually figured it all out what I was asking. Woohoo! Woohoo! Tonight's question has to do with this here's a movie that just came out, uh, Crimson Peak, by um, Guillermo del Toro. What inspired him, what other movies inspired him to write this movie? I can't wait to see this movie. We haven't seen it yet. It looks really good. The maze looked really good too at Universal Studios. So, there you have it guys. There's your trivia question of the day and your movie trivia question of the day. And you are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all with my misshapen heart <laughs> very, very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff on our other channels as well. And we will see you next week.